two, three. Hi, hello, how are y'all doing? How are we doing? Does this setup look a little similar to a different setup in my previous videos? Here, let me recap for you. So, basically, we're having Taco Bell today. And listen, I wanna clarify that I'm pregnant. That's literally all I have as an excuse, and that will be enough because I'm growing a literal human. I just made it. I'm going to get my food now. We're just gonna sit in the car, chit chat. Okay, we secured the bag. We got the food. I got a little bit more food than I normally get just because I wanted the effect of the video. So I decided that I wanted to do like the get to know me tag. So that's just like a whole bunch of questions. Getting to know me. I feel like I've never done a video actually like talking about myself. I'm like, what's better than talking about myself? Just kidding. So I have the questions here. So we'll just get right into it. But before we do, I'm gonna just show you guys what I got. So I have the fries that have the meat and cheese and all that on top. But I only get it with meat and cheese because I'm a basic bitch. I got two soft tacos, just meat and cheese as well, and two Dorito tacos, meat and cheese. So this is what they look like. Delicious. Mm. Pretty dang delicious if you ask me. So first question is how tall am I? My license says 5'3", but I think I'm hovering 5'4". Are you in or have you gone to college? I'm not in college. I have gone to college. Changed my major way too many times. In nursing. I went to biology. I went to psychology. I went to human resources. I have no idea. But now I'm not in college. But I do want to go back to college because I actually liked what I was studying. I liked human resources a lot. What year was I born? So your girl was born in 1999. So I'm a 90s baby, barely, but there, you know, made it, made made the cut. I'm a Gemini. Okay, I'm just going to put that out. I'm a Gemini, but I'm a good person and I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. So all those stereotypes that you guys have against Geminis, cut it, cut it, because that's not with me. Where did I grow up? Technically, I grew up in two places. I was born in Miami, lived in Florida for nine years of my life, so basically my entire childhood, and then moved to Puerto Rico, and I've been here God knows how long. We moved in 2008, so do the math. Those two places have my heart, you know? Like, I love Florida. I miss Florida. And I love Puerto Rico. And I'm gonna miss Puerto Rico because I'm moving. Do you speak any languages and how well? I speak two languages. I speak Spanish and I speak English. Because she's bilingual. When we moved here, my Spanish was really limited and I got bullied so much for that. I always thought like I had an accent, like you would, you can tell that I wasn't born here. Like when I started my YouTube channel, I was living in Florida with my brother. People automatically knew I was Puerto Rican. I was like, but how? And then here, I'm too gringa. I'm too gringa for the Puerto Ricans apparently. This is what it looks like. It's so skinny because she's so basic. Does it have a lot of flavor? I'm not feeling that. How long was your longest relationship? My current relationship is actually going on five years strong, almost a year married. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is my longest relationship. How many siblings do you have? I have two. I have an older brother. Well, both of them are older. How old is he? I think, yeah, he's 31. And my second oldest brother is 30 now. Happy birthday, bitch. And I'm 22. So now I'm the only one in my 20s. The baby. Actually, I want to know if you guys even care to tell me. Do you guys have, like, older siblings, like, by a lot of years? And do you guys, like, relate to them? Because it's so hard for me to relate to my siblings. Like, 
Loki, I feel like I'm kind of alone sometimes. What is your favorite Netflix show? Oh, Ginny and Georgia. Love that show. If you guys have not seen that show, you guys really need to see that. You, Money Heist. Oh my god, I can't believe I forgot Money Heist. Money Heist is really good. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't have a lot of favorite, like, actually Netflix shows. But shows that have been on Netflix, way too many. Like, uh, Grey's Anatomy, Friends. I, I'm so sad Friends is gone. Let's get the other taco. I'm, like, talking and not tacoing. She's a rapper. That's what it looks like. What are your pet peeves? I, only ha I honestly have so many. But my biggest one is people who are rude to waiters that boils my blood make it make sense what is one thing you wish people knew about you that i'm not stuck up or big like i'm none of that i'm so shy i guess it can come off like that so like i was talking about in my other video about like social anxiety and stuff like that makes me look big and i've had a lot of my friends say like i thought you were a at first or I thought you were like really stuck up and I'm like no like I'm not like that I'm not bitchy I'm really nice and I'm just really socially awkward what does the last text message you received say and it's from my best friend because I was just talking to her and all she said was haha I'm gonna explain and I showed her a list from worst to best zodiac signs and I thought that Virgos which is what she is had like a better reputation like I thought that they were like one of like the best signs but like she's like one below me or like two below me so I'm like girl you're you're just as bad as me which one of your parents are you more like I think when I was younger I was a lot more like my dad and now that I'm older I'm a lot more like my mom especially attitude wise she's gonna hate that i said that but it's true i just feel like my mom is like very set on her ways meaning like it's really hard to change her mind once it's on something and i'm like that the food is done i'm actually super freaking full but i'm gonna keep asking questions what was your favorite tv show when you were a child oh my favorite was hannah montana that's so raven yeah it was those two and i definitely got my sass as a child from those two shows like my brothers blame it on that all the time who is the first person you call when you have something exciting my mom definitely I'm always calling her first for everything when I found out that I was pregnant with Lucas actually she was the second person I called because I was actually scared to tell her so I actually called my best friend this pregnancy she was the first one to know what is your most used swear word bitch definitely bitch like that is my favorite word i don't know why like, you could be like bitch you could be like bitch you know you know you you get it you get it what was the first tattoo you got so the day i got my first tattoos i was 17 and i got two this is my first tattoo i got with my mom and my dad with the same one <laughs> with my mom and it was on the same day and out of the two this one hurt the most this says Ohana. My skin doesn't really hold ink that well. So I kind of like bled. I actually think this was my third tattoo. This is my brother's birthday. The only reason I got this, okay, like, it's not that I favor a brother. It's just, this was my 18th birthday. And I was a little tipsy. Really wanted a tattoo. My other brother does not live here so it's hard to do that and we were back and forth with what tattoos we wanted and we were just like you know what let's just get each other's birthday so he has mine and i have his what is the hardest thing about being a parent so i would still like to say that i'm in the easy stages because you know you're not dealing with bullying you're not dealing with really traumatic things that can happen to a child that can affect you also as a parent but right now in the stages that i'm in with Lucas, I think it's just adjusting. It's adjusting to his sleep schedule, it's adjusting to his eating, it's adjusting to, you know, you focusing a little bit more on him than on yourself. So we both got sick and my sickness lasted so much longer because I kept forgetting to take my medication to make sure that I gave him his medication. You kind of just forget about yourself a little bit or a lot. And it's like, thankfully I have 
my husband's family and my family here that have helped me a lot with him so it gives me time to you know get prettier go out a little bit or kind of take some time for myself which animal scares you the most girl anything besides a dog and a cat honestly what is your most memorable Halloween costume well, was when I was a Barbie cheerleader I'm gonna see if I can find a picture I believe there's a picture around there somewhere but I'm gonna see if I can find one and I just felt so cute that day not gonna lie so that is definitely my most memorable that is gonna be the end of this mukbang guys thank you so much for watching I feel like this video was just a little short but I hope not I feel like I didn't eat a lot but I try to it's just so hard to eat and talk at the same time like hello like manners were taught when you were little and mukbangs are like telling you to like forget about your manners don't forget if you want to follow me on instagram twitter or tiktok they're going to be linked down below i take so much time in my description boxes please check them out it would mean the world to me and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already turn on your post notification bell so that way you can be notified whenever i post a video and i will see you guys next time bye